Hello, good morning. I'm Dr. M. Fatima from Saga Institute of Research and Technology. Today, I'm taking high pass filter using operational amplifier. The high pass filter is actually a circuit which allows the high frequency signal to pass and attenuates the low frequency signal. So the actually uh, high pass filter passes the frequency signals which are higher than the cutoff frequency and rejects the signals whose frequency is lower than the cutoff frequency. So you can see here, this is the diagram of the high pass filter. So this, uh, this is showing the operational amplifier, voltage follower op amp. This is the CR network. So this circuit, this high pass filter is actually used, used in radio frequency circuits and for the signal processing. So the basic circuit of the high pass filter is actually CR network. So I'm taking it separately. See here, this is the high pass filter. Here, this is the input voltage given to the CR network. This is the capacitor, this is the resistor. Output voltage is taken across this resistor R. Current I is flowing. So this high pass filter passes the high frequencies and attenuates the lower frequencies. So why am I saying like that? So see, the, what is the concept behind it? Let us see now. The reactance of the capacitor is Xc. So in this here, this is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc, where F is the frequency of the signal which is provided at the input of this CR network, and C is the capacitor. So uh, the reactance of this capacitor, uh, it means if the mm, uh, lower frequencies are given to this uh, capacitor. Now, how the reactance uh, or how the capacitor behave if the higher or lower frequency is provided? Consider very low frequency is provided to this network. Uh, let it be f equal to zero. So this in the denominator, if f equal to zero, xc will become equal to infinity. So capacitor will be acting as an open circuit. So here this capacitor becomes open circuited. So the connection is broken from input. So whatever the input is given here, it will not be available at the output. So there will be no output. In this manner, the low frequencies are rejecting. If, if the high frequency signal is given to the CR network, very high frequency, let it be F equal to infinity. Then the, this, if f equal to infinity here in the denominator of xc, then xc will be equal to zero. So the capacitor will start behaving like short circuit. So if it, this is short circuited, so whatever the input is given here, that will be available across the resistor R. So output voltage will be available here. So for the very high frequencies, the output voltage is available. And for the low frequencies, output voltage will not be available. So in this manner, the CR network is passing the higher frequencies and attenuating the lower frequencies. The cutoff frequency of this high pass filter is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. So the, the cutoff frequency depends on the value of resistor and capacitor. If the value of resistor and capacitor changes, the cutoff frequency will also be changed. Now this is the circuit diagram of the high pass filter and this is showing the frequency response of the high pass filter. You can see here. The lower frequencies from 0 hertz to cutoff frequencies, that, that is a frequency lower than the cutoff frequency are attenuating. So this is representing the stop band. And uh, the frequencies uh, more than cutoff frequency, these frequencies are having higher gain. So these frequencies are passes. That is the output voltage is available at this, uh, this circuit for the higher frequency high frequency signals. So the high frequency signals are passes. So this is showing the pass band from this cutoff frequency onwards. This is the pass band of the high pass filter and the mm, uh, frequency less than the cutoff uh, frequency. So this band is called the stop band. Now, this is another high pass filter in which the feedback network is connected, R2 and R1. This is the feedback network. And um, here the capacitor C1 and R3, and we can take it as C or R. So the frequency, cutoff frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi Rc and gain of this operation amplifier is equal to 1 plus R2 upon R1. Since here the input voltage is provided to the positive terminal of this operational amplifier. So whatever the input is applied here, it will be available to the CR network. The CR network passes the 
only higher frequency signals which will be available to the positive terminal of the op amp so this op amp will provide the uh, amplified value of this higher frequency signal only and rejects the lower frequency since already c r network will not pass the low frequency signal so nothing will be available at the positive terminal so output will be zero for the low frequency signals so the lower frequencies are rejecting and higher frequencies are passing now take one example of this a first order high active high pass filter has a pass band gain of 2 and a cutoff corner frequency of 1 kilohertz if the input capacitor has a value of 10 nanofarad calculate the value of cutoff frequency determining resistor and gain resistor of the feedback network so uh, see with the cutoff corner frequency of fc equal to 1 kilohertz and capacitor of 10 nanofarad we know that uh, the cutoff frequency formula and with the help of this we can calculate the value of resistor r so fc equal to 1 by 2 pi rc so we know the value of fc it is equal to 1 kilohertz and then we know the value of this capacitor this is equal to 10 nanofarad so the value of resistor is can be calculated put all these values here r equal to 1 by 2 pi fc rc so this is equal to 15.92 kilo ohm See here the value of capacitor, sorry, the value of this cutoff frequency is 1 kilohertz, that is 1000. 2 pi is already written here. The value of capacitor is 10 nanofarad. So this is equal to 10 into 10 is to minus 9. So this is giving a value of 15.92 kilo ohm of resistor. So round off this figure, so this is the take 16 kilo ohm. So the value of resistor is equal to 16 kilo ohm. Now calculate the value of uh, feedback network resistors. So for this, uh, uh, we can take the pass band gain AF equal to 1 plus R2 upon R1. The gain is already given in the numerical. This is equal to 2. So 2 equal to 1 plus R2 upon R1. See here it is written. So one, if I'm taking 1 towards left hand side, so this is equal to R2 upon R1 equal to 1. That is the value of R2 equal to R1. If I am taking R1 equal to 10 kilo ohm, then the value of R2 will also be 10 kilo ohm. So we have to take the same value of R1 and R2. So, so this is the desiring part of the high pass filter in which we can calculate the value of resistor and value of feedback resistors. Thank you. This completes this lecture.